Welcome back to Upbeat Consult Channel, where knowledge meet innovation. In this video, we'll be discussing the regulatory requirements for bioequivalence and biowaiver studies. The following topics will be covered. What is bioequivalence? What is a biowaiver? What are the regulatory requirements for bioequivalence studies? What are the regulatory requirements for biowaiver studies? We'll start with, what is bioequivalence? Bioequivalence is the comparison of the bioavailability of two pharmaceutical products containing the same active ingredient. Bioavailability is the rate and extent to which a drug is absorbed into the bloodstream. Two products are considered bioequivalent if they have the same bioavailability. But now, what is a biowaiver? A biowaiver is a request to the FDA to waive the requirement for a bioequivalent study. A biowaiver can be granted if the generic drug product is highly similar to the reference drug product in terms of its composition, manufacturing process, and dissolution profile. So, let's dive in and know what are the regulatory requirements for bioequivalent studies. The regulatory requirements for bioequivalent studies vary from country to country. However, there are some general requirements that are common to most countries. These requirements include First, the study must be conducted in healthy volunteers. Second, the study must be designed to compare the rate and extent of absorption of the test and reference drug products. Third, the study must be conducted using a validated analytical method. And last, the study must be conducted in accordance with good clinical practice GCP, guidelines. Moving now to know the regulatory requirements for biowaiver studies. The regulatory requirements for biowaiver studies are also different from country to country. However, there are some general requirements that are common to most countries. These requirements include First, the generic drug product must be similar to the reference drug product in terms of its composition and dosage form. Second, the generic drug product must be either a biopharmaceutical class 1 or 3. And last thing, the generic drug product must be manufactured using similar manufacturing process and have a comparative dissolution profile similar to the originator drug. We have reached the end of this video, where we have discussed the regulatory requirements for bioequivalence and biowaiver studies. These requirements are important to ensure that generic drug products are safe and effective. Thank you for joining us. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights on pharmaceutical regulations and drug development.